Hey there, my name is Luke Thomas. I'm the founder of Friday, and I want to show you how routines work. So routines, in a nutshell, allows you to prioritize and reflect on your work. You can do this by yourself, you can do this with a team, or you can do this as like the entire organization. The basic idea is that this is like a checkpoint for thinking about your work and sharing what you're working on. And so I'm going to show you how you can get, get up and running. So the first thing is to navigate to the routines tab. And here you can select um, a, a different template. So we have a few different options that you can pick and choose from based on what we see is most relevant and popular across our customer base. So you can see you can have team or personal routines, um, or you can create it from scratch. It's really up to you. Um, what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm going to set up a personal uh, routine um, where I will uh, reflect on my week. And so I selected the template and here I have the ability to configure how this thing should work. And so what you can see here is we have a variety of default options because you chose the template. Um, and so you can see here we have prompts. Prompts are basically questions that you answer and they tend to be structured in nature. So you can see here, we ask, how are you feeling? And you can see that uh, this is an emoji question. So you respond with an emoji answer. Um, we ask, how productive were you this week? And here you can pick and choose um, on a one to 10 scale, how productive you thought you were. And then we have open-ended uh, questions where you can respond in a longer format way. Um, and what's really cool about routines and, and, and the prompts in particular is that what you're doing is you are decreasing the friction associated with sharing your work or reflecting on your work because you're putting some thought and intention into the structure and the nature of what you're trying to learn or figure out over time. And so you can see here, let's just stick with these questions, but we do have other types. We have open-ended, emoji, numeric, sentiment, yes, no, and we also have the Likert scale question, which is a you know strongly disagree to strongly agree. Um, so here you can choose your prompts, then you can choose power-ups if they make sense. So power-ups um, allow you to do an additional activity that may not happen naturally. So after I finish answering these questions, I have the option to do something like say thanks to a coworker for a job well done. I can share progress on a goal if I'm the assigned owner. I can answer icebreaker questions. I can offer up ideas for improving the company. So what happens is by kind of embedding these activities into other activities that would happen uh, more naturally, you can get more of them. Um, so people will be more likely to say thanks to coworkers if it's part of an existing behavior. So not only are we kind of latching on to an existing kind of cadence, but we are also helping you and your team create new behaviors that may not happen naturally, especially in a remote first context. You can also see here that we have a schedule. So you can pick and choose um, how often this, uh, this update should uh, be sent. Um, so these are the prompts. So every weekday at 5 p.m., um, I would receive a notification over email or Slack um, when it's time to complete an update. In this example, we've actually hidden some configuration options because this is a personal routine. So let me just make it a team routine so you can see everything. You can see that um, if I don't respond, I can uh, send myself a final reminder as a way to you know, improve my, the likelihood that I'm going to fill it out. Um, I can also select uh, individuals, teams, or everyone in the company to respond. Because this is a sample account, um, it's just me. You can also see that you can pick and choose where to prompt people. So is this something that you receive over email? Is it Slack? Is it Microsoft Teams? Or is it both? Um, you can also pick and choose who can see the results or the responses. So if someone fills out an update, um, is this something that goes to like a team leader? Is this something that is visible to the entire team? Is this a company-wide uh, routine? Well, with Friday, you can automate any routine communication and update that you can think of. And so just think about it this way. Think about uh, email, Slack, Zoom. Those are basically like communic... Think about like plumbing in your house. It's like those tools lay the pipes for better communication, right? It's never been easier to get a hold of someone uh, through one of these tools. 
The issue these days is that you need more predictability, you need more um, reliability, and uh, similarly to like that plumbing in a house example, you need like pumps. So if information and updates are like water, you need uh, to make sure that uh, water or the information is flowing on a predictable, repeatable basis. So the Friday routine is basically like communication, um, uh, uh, like a communication uh, a pump for you and your team and your company, right? It's all about increasing the predictability by getting kind of this work done beforehand. So let me show you how this works. I'm just going to publish this and add my first entry. <clears throat> so what you can see here is, uh, as you can recall, this is this is the uh, end user facing experience. So this is, if, if you were to run this with your team, um, this is what people would experience instead of the configuration step seen beforehand. So you can see, I can quickly respond. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. How productive were you this week? I was a 10 out of 10. What went well? I'm just going to provide a sample response. I can also provide uh, like a GIF, which is kind of fun, right? And there are other options, right? I can add like list, I can add a code block. And then I'm going to move on to my next question. What's the number one thing you need to accomplish next week? Well, what's cool is you, you can see here in the sidebar, I can actually pull in my work from different tools. So first we will uh, display what is in your planner and you can copy that over. So let's say I have another task. Right, so what I'm doing is I'm queuing up my planner for the day and then I'm gonna copy that over. So I'm gonna remove this because it's not as relevant. You can see I have my tasks and my agenda. Let's complete that update. Now what you can see is that the responses roll up to a feed. Now, because I just created a sample account, you won't see other items. I'll show you more of what that looks like in a second. But you can see here that, um, you know, imagine it's like a Facebook feed for sharing updates. And for each routine you have set up, you'll be able to quickly select uh, with a tab and see that. So let me show you what this really looks like in practice. So I'm gonna go, uh, and, and this, is a, this is a real life example. Every Friday, we quickly share at the end of the week, um, how we thought we did. Um, this is only seen by me, unlike some of these other routines, which are seen by everybody. So this gives me a really awesome way of figuring out how people are feeling about their week and what they accomplished. So you can see here is that, um, well, let me show you the builder first. So in the routines section, sorry about this. Let me just jump back in. So while that's loading, um, the Friday check-in, you can see it's structured series of prompt. How did you feel about the week? How productive were you? What went well? What was the worst part of your week? And so to get back to the Facebook feed idea, I can see a running log of how people felt over you know a long period of time. I can then, uh, to give you an idea of how this was configured, you know, we had four different questions, um, people, have the ability to share ideas and track progress on goals. Um, this is run every Friday at 10 a.m. and we send a reminder a day later. You can see the participants and you can see that I am the only one that can see this. We also send prompts over Slack. So people will get a direct message right in Slack so it rises above the noise of your email inbox. One last thing I'll quickly show you before I wrap up is the reports. So for every routine on Friday, we will automatically create three routine report views. So we have a snapshot view. The snapshot view is, as the name suggests, a snapshot of responses in a given time period. So if you run a daily routine, we will snapshot a day. If you uh, do a weekly routine, we will snapshot a week. Um, and what this does is this gives you kind of like a one pager for a given moment in time. You can see I can slice and dice results by different teams. Um, I can also jump back to uh, previous weeks. Additionally, we have the compare view. And what the compare view does is it allows me to see how people are trending over time, almost like a spreadsheet view. And so I can quickly glance and see, okay, I need to do something about this instance, or I need to jump in and chat with so-and-so about this. They're not feeling as great about their work. I can also see, you know, and you can see this rolls up for each question. Then we have the trends view. What the trends view does is it gives you a high level overview 
of engagement. So how many people are responding? This is actually one of our lower performing uh, routines because I make it optional. Um, and then you can see because it's on uh, the question, how productive were you this week is on a one to 10 scale. We will automatically create uh, a chart and uh, trend the results over time. So in the future, we will offer sentiment analysis as well on those open-ended responses. But what you can see here is all of a sudden, we're helping you automate and streamline your communication at work. No matter if it's a daily stand-up, a weekly update, a check-in, it's up to you to come up with whatever you think makes sense for your organization. But Friday can support any routine communication and update you can think of. We also help you quantify this stuff over time with the reports and we make sure that it's visible to everyone in the company um, or on the team. It depends on how you set it up. The last super quick thing I'll mention is that uh, this stuff can show up in Slack as well, so you can push it into a Slack channel. So I'm going to give a quick example. Um, so for our updates, we will push these into a Slack channel, right? So you could create, um, you know, for a routine, like a weekly update, you could push that into um, a uh, its own dedicated Slack channel, whether that's for your team or you know maybe it's the general channel or the random channel, it's really up to you. Once again, with Friday, we can help you automate and streamline any routine communication and update you can think of so that you can spend less time in meetings so that you can uh, disconnect information sharing from what you do in meetings. And as a result, Instead of chasing around, running around, asking people what they're working on, the information will flow to you on a predictable basis instead of the other way around. So I hope this makes sense and uh, have fun. Thanks. Bye.